Hello and welcome to another TLDR EU video. Hate speech is sadly rife on the internet, from comments that skate the line to unquestionably offensive remarks. One country that's attempted to do something material about it has been Germany. Since the 1st of October 2017, the Network Enforcement Act, known as NetsDG, has beefed up protections and forced platforms to take content down quickly. The issue with this is that some believe that NetsDG doesn't go far enough, and others think it goes too far altogether. So in this video, we'll take a dive into Germany's hate speech law, and what the future could hold for the internet in Germany and around Europe. If you want us to be able to report on whatever we want without censorship or fear of demonetization, then be sure to back us on Patreon. Doing so not only gets you great perks such as behind the scenes posts, early access to videos and live events, but it also helps support our channel and our content. To find out more and support TLDR, click the link in the description. First things first then, what actually is the Network Enforcement Act? Well, in the words of the government department responsible for it, NetsDG aims to fight hate crime criminally punishable fake news, and other unlawful content on social networks more effectively. This includes insult, malicious gossip, defamation, public incitement to crime, incitement to hatred, disseminating portrayals of violence, and threatening commission of a felony. In practice, a number of new requirements were established. Platforms were required to offer an easily recognisable, quickly accessible and permanently available procedure for reporting content, to take down content as quickly as possible. Manifestly unlawful content, the content that's obviously harmful or illegal, must under German law be taken down within 24 hours. All other criminal content must be blocked within 7 days. Twice a year, platforms are also obligated to publish publicly available reports on their compliance, but the main deterrent of these systems are the fines. Failure to deal with complaints within the 24-hour or 7-day time frame, or a failure to set up a system at all, can result in fines of up to 5 million euros against the person responsible for the complaints management system, and up to 50 million euros against the company itself. And Germany is prepared to use this power. Back in August of 2019, the German Federal Office of Justice fined Facebook Island Limited, Facebook's EU base, 2 million euros for violating reporting obligations. However, the wider issue is invariably whether NetsDG has struck the right balance between free speech and privacy on one hand, and law enforcement and national security on the other. As recently as June this year, other countries' attempts at hate speech regulation have come under judicial and constitutional scrutiny. In May, and in the first piece of legislation not linked to the pandemic since lockdowns began, France finally adopted a law on hate speech, largely echoing that of Germany. Platforms such as Google, Twitter and Facebook would now have 24 hours to remove content flagged as hateful and just one hour to remove content flagged as terrorist propaganda. The fines were, however, significantly reduced from the German system, maxing out at just 1.25 million euros. The criticism of this new scheme was rife and nothing new either. All the way back in November, the European Commission wrote to the French government to voice their concerns, asking that the government wait for a common EU standard to be enacted, and claiming that the new French law may not actually comply with EU laws. That's because the EU is currently negotiating and drafting up the aforementioned Common EU Standard, known as the Digital Services Act. This act is designed to set a common benchmark and Europe-wide policy for moderating and dealing with illegal and hateful content, and is expected early next year. We will, of course, cover that in the new year, if any interesting developments arise out of it. Anyway, within a matter of months, the law was hauled before France's Constitutional Council, after some raised concerns over how platforms were actually meant to determine what was unlawful. Critics argued that the law, as it was, encouraged platform providers to remove flagged content, whether or not it actually infringed on any laws, in effect, over censorship. Citing Article 34 of the French Constitution, 
The court balanced the right of the government to restrict freedom of expression and communication that violates public order and rights of third parties against the general freedom of expression and communication, concluding that freedom of expression is all the more valuable because its exercise is a condition of democracy. Therefore, Parliament has brought to freedom of expression and communication an infringement that is not appropriate, necessary or proportionate to the purpose pursued, and therefore the law was deemed unconstitutional. In spite of all these difficulties in France, Germany is clearly not backing down. Instead, it's actually going even further. A matter of days after the court in France concluded that the French version was unconstitutional, Germany passed amendments and reforms that would require platform providers to report certain types of criminal content to the Federal Crime Police Office, adding to the already fervent criticisms of the law. Now the concern is that social media giants are being co-opted to help the state build massive databases on citizens without robust legal justification. For civil liberty and privacy campaigners, the move is yet another step in the wrong direction, with some going as far as to state that the move violates rule of law guarantees in the German constitution, and that forcing platforms to reveal their users' true identities to the authorities without a court mandate or proper individual judicial review would set a very, very dangerous precedent. In 2018, NetsDG, as it was back then, without any of these new proposals, was already highly, highly criticised. Human Rights Watch, an international non-governmental organisation advocating for, you guessed it, human rights, called out the law directly. The Germany director of the Human Rights Watch stressed that governments and the public have valid concerns about the proliferation of illegal or abusive content online, but the new German law is fundamentally flawed. It's vague, overbroad, and turns private companies into overzealous censors to avoid steep fines, leaving users with no judicial oversight or right to appeal. In their eyes, this opens the path for far more aggressive legislation by other countries, using the already flawed German model as a basis. This new reform only adding to the laws may seem to have come out of nowhere, but actually it's anything but. The impetus of the reform being the 2019 murder of local German politician Walter Lubke by a neo-Nazi. A murder preceded by a number of targeted threats and hate speech, as Lubke had become the face of Germany's refugee policy, a highly controversial policy. Which, if you want, we can cover in another video, just let us know in the comments below. Anyway, the reforms to force police notifications aren't even the end. Wider reform is ongoing, with objections ranging from strengthening users' rights and making reporting channels more friendly, to simplifying the appeals process and the significance of transparency reports. A spokesperson on legal affairs for the Social Democrats, the junior coalition party in Germany, stressed the importance of the move. We have to do more to prevent hate and slander from spreading online. No one's legitimately questioning the need for the protections and the need to take down hateful content, the issue being achieving some semblance of balance. As we said near the top of the video, it's about achieving the right balance between free speech and privacy on one hand, and law enforcement and national security on the other. Something highlighted by a German MP for the opposition Green Party when they said, what we're debating here in Berlin has great relevance for all democracies, whether they're in Europe or elsewhere in the world. We're walking a tightrope, having to balance the fight against disinformation, incitement and slander on one side with the right to free speech on the other, which is of paramount importance in democracies. To come up with a law that's both balanced and effective is far from a trivial task. Germany already has some of the strictest laws on hate speech in the world, Inciting hatred against national, religious, ethnic or racial groups has already been outlawed for years and years. So is the use of racial slurs and displaying Nazi symbols. But for many German policymakers, Lubke's murder highlighted that NetzDG doesn't go far enough, that more work needed to be done to protect people on and offline. But what do you think? Is NetsDG a template for other countries to use in order to regulate online content? 
or does it impinge on key freedoms? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we release a video. Special thanks to our Patreon backers who make videos like this one possible. And if you want to see your name listed at the end of the videos, then be sure to back us on Patreon. The link to that's in the description.